We're at lesson 3.2 and we're going to talk about how to relate addition and multiplication. We're going to talk about repeated addition. Multiplication is like addition because we can use multiplication or addition to combine equal groups. We've got two gems and two gems and two gems. That's six gems in all. That's repeated addition. We can also skip count two, four, six. Skip counting by twos. To multiply means to combine equal groups to find how many in all. Factors are the numbers that we multiply together. In two times three is equal to six, two is a factor of six, three is also a factor of six, and six is the product, it's the answer. A product is the answer to a multiplication problem. Lisa needs three apples to make one loaf of apple bread, and each loaf has the same number of apples. How many apples does Lisa need to make four loaves? So we ask, what do we need to find? We need to find how many apples are in four loaves. What information will we use? Three apples is equal to one loaf. It says three apples to make one loaf. She's making four loaves. How can we solve this problem? We could use counters and repeated addition of equal groups. So here we've got one, two, three, four loaves as our four groups. We put three counters in each group because she needs three apples for one loaf. We make equal groups, we put three apples into each of the four loaves. We use repeated addition to find how many in all. Three plus three plus three plus three. Three plus three is six, plus three more is nine, plus three more is twelve. Lisa needs twelve apples to make four loaves of apple bread. When we combine equal groups, we can multiply to find how many in all. We've got four circles. There's three gems in each circle. We have four groups of three. We put three counters into each circle. And since we have the same number of counters in each circle, we can multiply to find how many in all. Multiplication is another way to find how many there are all together in equal groups. We have four groups of three. We write four times three. The four is for how many groups. The three is for how many are in each group. It's equal to 12. That's our product. We read four times three is equal to 12. The four is how many groups we have and four is a factor of this product 12. Three is how many is in each group, and it's also a factor of 12. And of course, 12 is the product. The factors are the numbers that we are multiplying together. The product is the answer to a multiplication problem. We can write related multiplication and addition sentences for a model. We have four circles, four groups, and there are five gems in each group. We have repeated addition of five plus five plus five plus five. Five, 10, 15, 20. We have 20 green gems. We have four groups. With five in each group, we have four times five is equal to 20. Bob drew groups and used counters to model Three times two is equal to six. And this is what he did. What did he do wrong? He needed to make three equal groups with two in each group. This is not three times two. He needed to make three equal groups with two in each group. The groups must be equal to each other. They must have the same amount in them. We can write a multiplication sentence to match 
what is shown. These gems are split into three equal groups by these black bars. We have three equal groups, so that's a three, and there's five in each group, so it's three times five. It's equal to 15. I have a message at the end of the video for the parents about this, what's shown. We can write multiplication sentences for each repeated addition sentence. Here we have six plus six plus six plus six. How many sixes are here? We have one, two, three, four. That means we have four groups of six. And there's six in each group. We have four times six, which is equal to 24. Here we have one, two, three, four, five twos. That means we have five groups of two. There's two in each group. Five times two is equal to 10. Here we have one, two, three sevens. That means we have three groups of seven. Three times seven is equal to 21. Here we have one, two, nines. That's two groups of nine. Two times nine is equal to 18. Here's the message for parents. For numbers six, seven, and eight of the On Your Own section in the Go Math book, it shows equal groups split up into columns with vertical lines. We saw it in our example over here with the vertical lines. They've got them split into equal groups with the black line here, but that's only for keeping the groups separate. This can cause confusion when we get to lesson 3.5, when we learn about rows and columns and arrays. You're gonna to wanna to show the child, the student, that you can put the line going horizontally to show two equal groups and how many are in each group, and then we would skip count coming down the side. This shows two equal groups with three in each group, which is equal to six. This is the rows and columns would be coming down and we're gonna be doing this. So this black line might confuse them. So do some examples with them this way and explain it's the same thing. And the black line has nothing to do with rows or columns. It's just splitting them into equal groups. So multiplication and addition are alike because we can use both to combine equal groups. We can do repeated addition, or we can multiply how many groups times how many are in each group to get a product. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.